Hi everyone, it's Neep here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making a quick mixed media card using products from ScrapFX. So we're starting off with one of the new ScrapFX um, rice papers, collage rice papers, and I've just cut it in half and it's this cool circle design and I'm using watercolour paints just to basically splodge some colour around on this. Now with the rice paper obviously it's quite absorbent so while I'm adding water to the watercolours obviously uh, I am making sure it's actually quite thick. You'll notice the first dots that I go on are more translucent than the rest because obviously they've got a bit more water in them. So actually work your water into your watercolours um, so they're a little bit thicker so you get more of the pigment than water. If you want a really watery effect it's fine um, but I want a more pigment just particularly with this design as well. Because you're obviously using a water soluble medium you do need to take that into account when um, you think about how you are going to use this um, in the future. So I knew I wasn't going to put any glue over the top of this or use it in my collage designs like I, I normally do with gel medium so um, this was fine to do. If you're not using this um, with a wet glue underneath to glue it down or go over the top of it you can use any water soluble medium to do this. So you could use scribble sticks, you could use um, water soluble crayons, you could use the dilutions spray inks and get some really cool effects. Um, you do know need to know that it's going to be a little bit more random because obviously um, because the paper is so absorbent it is going to wick and run into the paper. You can control that a little bit with the watercolours and um, by making them quite thick so they more stay on the surface they don't run away so um, just play around with them though it's a great way to add colour and design. The good thing about the uh, the rice papers is they're absorbent on both sides. The usual collage tissue you've got most of the time one side is sealed so it doesn't take um, water soluble medium as well it doesn't sort of soak into the fiber of the page which is a cool in its own aspect so just take that into mind. So for this card I want to make an achieve card an achievement card and I want to use this chipboard again from ScrapFX and I'm just doing a quick um, emboss with gold embossing powder and I just wanted to change colour I didn't actually want any texture with it so um, I only put one layer on it and you can see that beautiful shine against all those beautiful rainbow colours in the background so it was a really great contrast to have. So now I'm just going in and drying my paper. If you're patient you can obviously leave it to dry naturally which is probably best you're less likely to wrinkle it. Um, if you're in a hurry like me because I'm always in a hurry you can get your um, heat tool with it and um, heat it up. One tip with the uh, rice papers if you're cutting it obviously scissors are fine but if you're cutting it with a craft knife make sure you're using a sharp blade because it will cut really nicely. If you use a dull blade it will start to catch and tear a little bit so um, I would suggest making sure before you start cutting rice papers that you have a sharp blade. So now I'm just trying to work out what paper I was going to put it on. I had an idea I was going to have sort of a metallic goldy coppery colour in the background but I just didn't like it so I decided to go for this metallic blue instead. And as you can see very unusual for me but I'm us using a dry adhesive so I'm using a glue stick or a double sided tape would work well for this as well. I didn't want anything that would reactivate the um, watercolours I'd used on the surface. If you're using um, double sided tape just be really careful with how you're laying it down um, because obviously the rice paper is so thin it's a little bit floppy so it's a bit harder to control as you're putting it down um, which is why I decided to go with the glue stick because I'm a bit unco when it comes to things like that and I can get stuff stuck to itself really easily. To glue the chipboard down I'm just using a little bit of PVA glue and gluing that down on top and that's my really simple card apart from going to my Tim Holtz sticker book which I'll pull out in a second and finding a little phrase to put underneath it which um, I think says achieve attitude is everything um, and it's something in my teaching career I've, I've seen a lot it doesn't matter if you're the smartest kid or the kid who struggles if you've got the right attitude 
and you can achieve anything you put your mind to so here's a close-up of the final page so you can see those beautiful colors in the background really bring that rice paper alive and just adding the simple element over the top makes a really quick and easy card this make, card took less than 15 minutes to put together um, but it's really bright and happy and full of cool things to look at so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed watching this please check out the scrap fx youtube channel to see lots more projects as well that can inspire you to use the scrap fx products and if you click on the links below you'll find where to buy the products both retail and wholesale and also the blog as well see you later